Now today we have a very interesting tutorial that most of you have demanded for and today I'm making it so we'll be talking about how to host a micro server right on your Android phone. So all you're gonna need is a smartphone like this one. It should be Android, uh, well any version would be suitable for now I guess and you need uh, it to be Android just remember that uh, so let's get started first of all you're gonna need to download the Kubernetes application the links will be provided in the description and there are various reasons why people who want to host their micro server on their phone it could either be because you can't leave your PC on the whole day if you think I'm gonna stand out there all day listening to <laughs> whereas if you keep your phone on it doesn't really matter because it stays on all the time and you can have your micro server hosted 24 7 or your parents may be shouting at you for being on a PC or keeping it on for a long time or it might either be hard for you <laughs> opening the link in the description will take you to this page of the Google Play Store and this is the application called Kubernetes which you'll need so just go ahead and install it I've already installed it so I'm gonna click open so okay once you open it this dashboard should come up so over here it's gonna click install Kubernetes. it's gonna start the installation you're just gonna wait until then okay guys now that the installation is done you come to this page just go ahead and click start server so this should go and start the server it'll say Kubernetes is starting it'll go through this it'll create your world and there you go once it says start of complete blah 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 it's complete so the first thing that you want to do is go to your settings then scroll down and you, over here web admin settings web admin basically allows you to manage the server through a web interface and you want to change the login credentials I'm gonna keep mine admin and admin just click OK and the port how to access web admin is simple as this just go to your Google Chrome it's over here I'm just gonna type 127 like this just type this and click enter you just type it, so yeah, type the thing in like this and just enter. Okay, it should come in like this. So, just a second. Uh, over here, just click on uh, Web Admin Login. Okay, and there you go. You're just going to type in a credential if it asks you. And here I am. I've already logged in. That's why it says uh, this. It should come up with uh, all these settings, the server settings and stuff like that. Uh, over here if you go on to server settings you should be able to see uh, these things the MOTD and stuff like that uh, max players authenticate off or stuff like that and how to access the server now let's go on to the server from here you see Kubernetes. it says Kubernetes is running 192.168.1.11 so we're just gonna go on to minecraft right on our PC so we have minecraft open right over here uh, we're just gonna click on add server and right over here we're gonna type in that same IP 192.168.1.11 Simple as that, just click done, let it load, let it load It should not take too much long, and there you go, it should come up with this So you have the server ready and right over here, so just join it by the way guys, Kubernetes won't will lag much less and will use a very less uh, resources on your phone because it's coded in C++ and C++ is a pretty light language. So here you go, here I am, hello, Kubernetes test server. So all as you need, you can have your phone just beside you and your game will be running right over here. Hi. And it was simple as that run simple as that if you go back onto your phone you can see here uh, right onto here you will see that console you can type like players see it says Ryan it's, it's duty uh, it also shows my IP address you can connect it to the server so that's how this basically works and if you want to stop the server you can just go over here and click stop server and don't usually kill the server okay there you go server has been stopped so it was simple as that anyways alright that does the job so the video now comes to an end it was just simple as that so be sure to leave a like subscribe and comment if you have any problems 
Their website links are pro is are provided in the description, and so is the application download. Uh, this application Kuberite, it's been coded in C++, which is a pretty lightweight language. That's why the game does not use too many resources on your phone, which is a good thing. And it's not only on your phone. Kuberite is also it also has a platform on the PC version. It can create you can create your own micro server on PC using Kuberite. Uh, it's an alternative to Bucket and Spigot, and it's, I recommend it because it's sort of better. It uses up less resources. You can host, uh, you can have more players uh, with less RAM used on your PC. So go ahead, check out their website, and give them recommendations from their uh, uh, support pages, or you can just uh, put it down in the comments below. I have contact with many friends who are developers in Kubernetes, and I'll pass on your comment. So cheers, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.